It's got to be hard. It's hard as heck right now to find these cattle, period, isn't it? Well, yeah, and when it's a down market, you have the, the cutters are thinking the cattlemen are making a lot of money, and the cattlemen are in the cattle business, not the recreational cattle business. And so there's a time when the, the cattle owners are losing a lot of money. They don't need to be cussed every time they go to a wedding or a funeral and hear how sorry their cattle were and how much money they, the cutters think they're making. Uh, in reality, they aren't in the recreational cattle business. And so it comes a time now on a down market where it's tough to trade with the cattlemen. And they all say, well, yeah, they went up because the fuel prices went up and they didn't go down when the fuel went down. But everything else has risen. So the cost of cattle has gone up for various reasons. And it's getting very expensive to provide these cattle. The cost of venues are going up. Uh, so the cost of cattle are Sure. It's hard to make both ends meet. Sure. When the cattleman's making money on an up market and the cattle are on the way to another pasture going by a venue, it's easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got to gather cattle, especially on a lease. If I'm leasing your place and I take them away from you for five or six days, those are five or six days they weren't doing, depending on the time of year, two pounds, pound and a half, two pounds a day. So you get them back and the compensatories might be 14 days before you get it back. So I gotta give you part of the money that I got at the cutting back. There's no money in it. Unless you had to gather them between seasons to reworm, rework, and there's not a lot of dollars left. You can draw it out if you're giving 65, 70 dollars for the cattle, give them three and a half a mile to haul them, they gotta be going somewhere where you get paid your freight. The extra work to gather, work, receive, it's, it all costs money. Time's money, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, the majority of the people don't understand that in the cutting horse business. They think the cattlemen, when you write them a check for whatever, a couple hundred thousand dollars, it all goes in their pocket. It does, but it goes out in a lot of different ways. A lot of it's already spent almost. It, it's gone. Yeah. So mm. that's that part. But